Now we take you atop Stonecrest in Prestonsburg for the 58th District Softball Championship between the Betsy Lane Lady Cats and the South Floyd Lady Raiders. This was the story of the first five innings for the Raiders. Brandy Osborne's hit once and it rolls into the outfit into the infield and she gets the runner to third but finds herself out at first to retire the inning. The Lady Raiders finding it hard to get much by the Betsy Lane defense. Megan Frazier up to bat for the Lady Cats and she bombs one to left field and helps advance the runner to second and thanks to an error, a lucky turn, nice double on the runner on third. Emily Kidd tries to get things rolling for the Cats. She hits a beautiful line drive but an unbelievable and challenging catch by Cheyenne Light on third base keeps the Lady Raiders within three runs. Emily Kidd shows her short memory in the next inning as she makes this one go over their head and straight out of the park for the home run putting the Cats up by four and making it hard for the Raiders to start a comeback. But they had their work cut out for them as we fast forward to the last inning and the last chance for the Raiders. Brooke Potter hits a pop fly to shortstop and nobody calls it, causing some confusion for the defense. But an error puts Potter on first base. Nikki Johnson hits next for the Raiders and she is out. But the runner stays safe at first, and it's down to Melanie Osborne as she hits a nice line drive and a heck of a show, snow cone catch for Jordan Atkins as they win the game 4-1. to one. Betsy Lane avoids a season sweep by the Lady Raiders, taking this one for taking this one in the 58th district championship game as Betsy Lane advances to the region tournament next week. Final score of the night from Prestonsburg, Betsy Lane 4, South Floyd 1, as Betsy Lane advances in the winner's bracket in next week's 15th region tournament.